Hello and welcome to a very special promotional stream slash video. Hello, YouTube. Um, looking at the Fanatical Summer Sale. Now, what is Fanatical? I hear you ask. Well, it is um, a website that sells games. Um, and it's on the screen right now. Um, you can use the link that is either in stream chat or in the video description below if you're watching on YouTube to access this at any point, um, including a specific link for the game I'm going to be playing on camera shortly, City Skylines. Um, and there are amazing deals that are, will be on for the next couple of weeks. Um, the big summer sale kicks off uh, the 10th which if you're watching this on YouTube is today. If you're on the stream right now, it's tomorrow, but there are still deals in the meantime to check out. So for example, you can see next to me, we have the star deal, the feature deal of Shadow of War, which will end in 28 hours or when it's sold out and you can get the best ever price for a Steam key, 75% off, 11.24. These are all approved game codes. Uh, they are an official partner of over 800 game publishers and rated excellent on Trustpilot by customers, say Fanatical. And so far, I am really impressed with what I've seen with the website. I haven't tinkered that much. Um, I've made an account, so you can see I'm all logged in. One of the big ones is syncing your Steam wishlist with Fanatical. So I'm actually going to do that now. It should sync them. There we go. It's found all of this stuff. It's added uh, Monster Hunter I'd already put on there. But you can see it's pulled through uh, Omen Site 91 Wall Operator, which I obviously added at some point. Uh, Euro Truck Sim 2, I don't know why I've added that either, but um, that is what's on my Steam wish list. So it's done all that. It means it's now going to keep an eye on that stuff. Where's Monster Hunter? Monster Hunter. Because that is on my Steam wish list, and we know that one is viable. So I have, there you go, Monster Hunter World. I actually already have it. But that doesn't stop it going, oh hey, actually, if you want to compare it, we've got it for 38.982. So if you want, it tells you when the deal ends as well. So, it, you know, if you've got five hours to shop around, you can always come back to it. Um, or you can literally just go straight to there and compare it. Um, it loads it all up. The offer is there. Uh, this is, yeah, again, by the time the video goes out on YouTube, this won't be a deal. But I'm sure there will be another deal, considering the summer sale is starting. Um, so I could save £10, which is really good. Um, all the keys are officially licensed as well. So you're not going to have any of that nonsense that we have with some other sites where they have issues later down the line. So that's really comforting because I know that's a big thing. Um, for you guys, for me, for anyone who wants to buy digital games, it is always a concern. Um, so, I, frankly as well, I quite like the design of the website. Like, it's busy. But it's not super busy. Oh, look, there's Resident Evil 2 Deluxe. 20% off. Excuse me. I don't know if that is going to stick around or whether that's going to drop in the sale. However, I do have a browser-based extension now which can tell me if it's still the cheapest on Fanatical. So I will monitor that. Um, what I do also like is this bit here, right? It tells you where it won't activate. So this product will not activate in Russia, but it will activate in the UK. So you've got a big tick there because that's another issue that you can have with digital codes is regions can be really confusing. So that's a plus point from me on that. You can also install a specific browser app which you can see up here which is not invasive i will add this it's not like this is the most it's going to do is pop up on relevant pages um, and it should ping you if you're on a specific site and go actually hey dude this is cheapest or actually this is cheaper elsewhere so they have a really cool built-in tool if you want to use it as i said if you want to use it you don't have to you don't have to pick this up um that should ping you and go, hey dude, actually this is cheaper here. Um, so yeah, star deal, top sellers. You can go through this, you can look at the feature deal. It also means if you're not on the Fanatical website, you could still access all this stuff. So look, there's an exclusive discount on Tupon Hospital. So on top of the site giving you deals, the browser extension itself may have other deals. Uh, and you can also customize content. You can change all of this. So if you don't want those drop down notifications, then 
you can tell it so it's set to auto at the moment it will only display when it's cheaper you can do it for the search engines you can do it for game videos on youtube and twitch so if i put it's so say for example the resident evil game actually i wonder if that would work i wonder if that would work let's go to um hannah calf resident evil 7 i want to see i don't know it depends this now this all comes down to whether youtube Shut up, mate. This all depends on... Ah, yeah, it did! No, it did! Yeah! YouTube's picked it up. YouTube, because YouTube sets the game. And then Fanatical's pulling that stuff off. So that's really cool as well. So literally, you want to go... Say you're watching one of my vids. You want to pick the game up. Fanatical can probably help you. That's really cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, what else have we got in here? I'm curious. Uh, so in the customized content, you could also say what you don't want to see. So I am not interested in uh, bundles, for example. Um, the wishlist sync, you can rem ah yes, remove own Steam games from my wishlist during the sync. Yes, nice. And then FAQs, contact, feedback. If you've got any of those issues, um, price notifications. I've done all of that. I'm happy with that. Display on Steam. Yes, I'm amazing. Um, so very simple very accessible like i don't feel that this is confusing really in any way the only downside is you will need to use chrome or firefox uh, or a pc then obviously you may not be able to take part in some of the deals um but as a pc user this is very very cool 2766 for all of city skylines how amazing is that plus the student deal if you've got wow you save, yeah, you save about 44 quid. That's blown my mind slightly. That's a really good deal for all of City Skylines. Sid Meier's games are expensive as fuck. Um, whenever Civ 6 or 5 is on sale, like we usually make a big song and dance about it because it's it's hundreds of pounds sometimes in expansions. Um, so this should be a good indication for you of another comparison alongside City Skylines of the price differences that you could benefit from uh, with Fanatical. Um, again, Civ 6 is on sale. It ends in 11 days. So that will be the 20th of August, I think, that that deal runs out. So if you're watching this on YouTube, there's still time for you to pick this up. Uh, it's 22 49 instead of £50 for the main base game of Civ 6. Um, so yeah, on Steam, this is Steam, £50. Sid Mayer's Civ 6 on fanatical.com is actually 2024 um, because that's not taking into account the summer discount on top of it of 10%. So you're saving about 27 quid. Civ 5 Steam page, right? 20 quid for the base game of Civ 5 versus 17.99 on Fanatical. But on top of that, you then have to add all of this you don't have to add all of that but you may as well whilst you're at it the big bulk of the game is 20 quid for gods and kings and 20 quid for brave new world um now civ 5 isn't on sale at the moment on steam so this is kind of a really good comparison point because actually some of the other stuff has got some sort of discount on it whereas this has currently got nothing but 20 quid plus about 78 pounds so you're looking at just under 100 pounds to pick up the dlcs that are mandatory for civ 5 because the game is shit without like seriously uh some map packs you also get as well you also get like spain inca mesopotamia um uh, babylon denmark all of that in there as well it's a lot of money it's like un just under 100 quid is a lot of money to drop for a game that is from uh 2010 which is a bit daft. So uh, obviously some of this stuff is from slightly later, but it's still at least about, what, six years old? In comparison, you take your 1799. Actually, you don't take 1799, ignore me, because actually Fanatical have made their own fucking bundle, which is literally the downloadable content plus the main game for £8.74. So this is just this isn't even correct actually the 17.99 is just if you were buying civ, civ 5 on its own but in the sale if you literally wanted to pick everything up which is the one you should get it's eight quid so those are the differences 
that Fanatical can offer you. Um, it will flag up stuff. The deal ends on the 20th of August. So um, if you're watching this on YouTube before then, you could still go and get it. Use the link in the video description below. Um, but yeah, I overall, I am really quite impressed and pleasantly pleased with the whole Fanatical um, website, but also the browser window, like uh, the extension. Like that's really cool for me personally because I can just sort of ping through it daily. Um, I like the fact that it's kind of built in stuff. I like the fact that you can change this so that it's not as invasive as some stuff because I there's things I've got like the YouTube pop-up one and I'm pretty sure I turn that off. It still appears randomly. Um, so I just feel like a lot more confident about this. This feels nice it feels cool i can access like the ending soon deals any of that stuff it's great oh psychonauts is one pound 74 broken age is three pound 74 like why haven't you picked those up ori and the blind forest definitive edition seven pounds can't remember what that is on steam um but there's some good deals here so i would urge you to go and check it out um if you're watching this on youtube thank you for <laughs> thank you for for watching it hopefully i have helped you out in some way um in alerting you about this it's totally cool if you uh don't want to get involved in it if you don't want to um install the browser extension thing because i get it not everyone wants it uh you can use the website without it is international as well so just go and check the site out see what you think um uh, if you've enjoyed this video uh or you find some good stuff on the site or whatever then um give us a shout let us know in the comment section uh people on twitch as well thank you for being very patient with me during this um uh, in an attempt to try and show you some cool shit it's been really good um and yeah i hope i hope you guys find some good stuff thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time bye